The code that you write is the instructions that you tell your computer to follow. And this set of instructions is what you might call an algorithm. An algorithm for making a customer ice cream might look something like this. You get a cone, you add a scoop of ice cream. If you're hungry, add another scoop, and then you eat it. This, of course, is not real code, but it describes the algorithm. It describes those set of instructions step by step. And we call this pseudocode. Pseudocode is fake code which highlights the steps to take. And when I write code, I often like to start by writing something like this as an outline before I replace it with code that actually works and does these things. We can also visualize an algorithm as a flowchart, something like this. This is the same pseudocode kind of shown diagrammatically. So here's the algorithm again. You get the cone, you add the scoop. If you're hungry, add another scoop. If you're hungry, continue doing that. If not, then eat it. So that's the algorithm for making an ice cream. And any algorithm fundamentally breaks down into three things. They break down into sequence, selection, and iteration. Sequence means the order of things which happen. You can't add the ice cream before you get the cone. Selection determines which path you take, kind of the flow of the code whilst it's running. And this is where you might have conditions like if I'm hungry. Depending on the answer to that, I'm going to take a different direction. And then iteration is repeating part of the algorithm multiple times. So here, I'm just continually doing that until I'm satisfied that I won't be hungry. And in code, these three things, sequence, selection, and iteration, are known as the basic programming constructs. So when you get into writing code, you should think about those three things before you start hitting the keyboard. That's number one, sequence. What order do things need to happen in? Number two, selection. Is there anywhere it needs to take a different path and do something different? And number three, iteration. Is there anywhere it needs to repeat a certain instruction? And combining these basic constructs, you can create algorithms to do all kinds of things, much more complicated than just making an ice cream. But the key point is to get you thinking about how code works, right? Why is it doing what it's doing? In what order? Is it doing something multiple times? Is it doing something dependent on a different situation? So understanding those different diagrams, you know, drawing out the diagram, maybe writing out the pseudocode for the algorithm which you want to implement, that can be a really useful way to get to a good starting point where you can actually begin to replace those things with code and helps you kind of think in a mindset that is the programming mindset.